What's up old school homies? Let's talk about how to deal with low yields. Oh no. <clears throat> You're not the first. I have low yields all the time with my rock collecting. It's funny, it never really makes it onto video, does it? <laughs> it sucks. That's why I don't show it to you. Hmm. It's a bummer too. I'll make a whole day of videos. And since I couldn't find a good rock, I don't post any of them. It sucks. It really does. Are you really rock collecting if you're not finding anything? Let's be real. There is a divide between collecting and not collecting. It happens. I don't know. It happens constantly. It's a headache. But we're going to talk about ways we can fix this. You got problems. You need to fix your problems. Okay? Number one. The easiest way to increase your yields go somewhere else. You would be surprised how shallow you are once you make more finds, how you totally forgot about your old place. Okay. Just saying. That's why I'm a hiker and not a digger. I'll just go somewhere else and keep walking. Bring somebody else along that knows where they're going. Hmm. This is a pretty logical one, but a lot of people don't use it. <clears throat> you know there's other rock collectors. You could be collecting with them, but you don't. I personally am more of a lone wolf. So don't, you don't have to listen to that one. Hmm. Next way to increase your yields, try harder, man. You're not trying hard enough. You're really not. Work it, dude. Use a lot of different aspects of deciding if the rock is collectible or not. The aesthetics, the shape, the color, the size, everything is able to make it more collectible. The weirdest reasons why a rock is collectible makes it the most collectible rock. You, you wouldn't know that, but it's going to be a reason that not any other rock can claim. You have to make it up yourself. Which goes into the next thing, be more interpretive. Don't look for just one thing. Interpret everything and decide what is cool. You decide. Don't wait for someone else to validate it.